to say goodbye to a Catholic church built on Chicago's southeast side 129 years ago. St. Michael of the Archangel is just one of a number of struggling churches and schools being closed under the Renew My Church initiative by the Archdiocese of Chicago. WGN Sean Lewis has more. Sitting at 82nd and South Shore for more than a century, thousands of footsteps into St. Michael the Archangel Parish are fading into history. As the final mass is celebrated before the venerable building is closed. An amazing structure, uh, really the Cathedral of South Chicago. And it's so unfortunate that this is being closed by the Archdiocese of Chicago when it's still a very viable parish. Ward Miller from Preservation Chicago came here on this day, not only to lobby for landmark status of this building, but to celebrate his family's history. St. Michael's is where his great grandparents were married in 1890. These are landmarks and gateways to communities. The faithful built these with pennies, nickels, and dimes, and they were given to the archdiocese to steward and staff and maintain. And when that can't happen anymore, we need to uh, think of other solutions. U.S. Steel, a large employer at the time on the southeast side of Chicago, made large donations as well to help construct the Gothic revival structure as a place for many of its Polish immigrant workers to worship. A whole sense of community is lost here. It's more than just a faith-based uh, place of worship and house of worship, but it's a gateway to these communities. It's a cornerstone to these communities. He suggests the Archdiocese allow another religious organization to take over the space, allowing the doors here in some form to remain open to the public. These are true landmarks in our community, and when they're closed and lost, not only do we lose a religious site, but we also lose all the services, the human services, the, the counselors, the, the food programs, the food pantries. Services, he says, that need to remain for the community as much as this building should remain for the future generations to appreciate. This is truly a remarkable building, one of Chicago's most beautiful churches. I'd say, you know, there's a handful of them that are really, really, really outstanding, and this is one of them. In South Chicago, Sean Lewis, WGN News.